Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and damn, is this gonna be a sweet video because I have a Nakona kangaroo boot. Let's get into it. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way, and we get better every day. That's right, these Nakona boots are 100% kangaroo on the outside both the foot and the shaft here crazy find for me in fact I didn't even think they were kangaroo when I got them I got these from Goodwill for $25 at first I thought they were bullhide because they had the texture and the grain of a bullhide just looking at it but when I felt it it didn't feel as thick as a bull hide, not nearly as thick. I was also wondering why they came with a soul saver on here. So I got to thinking, maybe this isn't bull hide. So I started asking real experts. I reached out to a couple of people, one custom boot maker, Dustin Lau, who loves working with kangaroo, as you can see in this little clip from Ask the Bootmaker. I think kangaroo is probably some of the best leather for cowboy boots. It's paper thin and it won't necessarily depending on what part of the country you're in or what part of work that you're doing but uh, first of all a kangaroo makes a wonderful dress boot extremely extremely durable has the highest tensile strength of any leather out there but it's thin so you wouldn't necessarily wear it in South Texas in the brush or whatever because you know mesquite thorns punctured or whatever but yeah, kangaroo's wonderful. And I also asked Craig Clower, who sells cowboy boots on eBay, who pointed me in the right direction for this as well, because he actually sold a few of these boots in his time. So huge thanks to Craig Clower, whose eBay store you can find at the links in the description, and also check out Ducks Heritage Leather, run by Dustin Lau. Huge thanks to both of those guys for helping me figure out what boot this was, and damn is it sweet. Kangaroo feels incredible. So I'm already in love with this boot. It is a 12B, made in the USA. Nakona made this boot right. And now that we have the entire story behind this boot and how I know that it is kangaroo, let's get into the rundown. As I mentioned, it is a complete kangaroo boot on the outside, both the foot, the counter, and the shaft. And wow, does it have a beautiful marble brown color to it. The grain looks spectacular. I've had kangaroo boots in the past, so I, you know, I know kind of what it feels like, but this doesn't look at all like kangaroo because of the grain. So that's why it completely threw me off. I thought it was bull hide. Wow, was I dead wrong. This also has a really nice looking medium round toe on it, which is also known as the R toe. For a heel, we got a stacked leather heel that measures about one and a half inches, maybe a little bit more, but damn, does it look good. Then on the bottom, we have a leather outsole, but as I mentioned, it is topped with a sole saver. This is a toppy sole saver that barely has seen any use at all. So. This is still a fairly new boot because this is the original heel cap. It is not worn at all, so wow, did I luck out on this. We also have lemon wood pegs down here, which you always like to see in a cowboy boot. Then on the inside, we have a leather lining all the way through, and the leather lining the foot is super soft, so nice, and it has a hard leather insole. Definitely new because I cannot feel the imprint of the previous owner's foot in here. So I don't know what made somebody give these up to Goodwill because they are brand new and they are in my size. This is a 12B. Wow, do I love Nakona for offering so many narrow sizes like they did in the past. All right, now let's put this boot on, see how it looks and feels. Okay, so here are the kangaroo boots, and damn, do they fit perfect. Gotta love Nakona for making those narrow widths. This is a 12B, and damn, does it fit snug in all the right places, and it looks really good. That grain um, is 
very eye-catching. In fact, in this light, it kind of almost has a reddish hue to it, even though I know it's just a light. In the daylight, I know it would be more brown and black, but damn, does it look sweet. It's not quite as thin as some kangaroo skins that I've tried in the past, but it definitely is not as thick as a lot of bull hides going out there. So it is really flexible, and that's the great thing about kangaroo is that it's very thin and flexible, but also extremely strong. As you already heard in this video with Dustin Lau, he loves it for that reason. And wow, does it make for a great cowboy boot. Love the look, love the feel, love the comfort in this old Nakona. Those hard leather insoles are always on top of the world for me. I love the hard leather insoles. It just allows the boot to form to your foot more. I really don't think you can go wrong a lot of times if you spend the time and search for these awesome deals on Goodwill, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. I don't think you can go wrong. You'll, you're gonna find an awesome deal on a pair of boots like this eventually, depending on how long you spend in your search. So it takes time, but you could end up with a pair of boots like this. And here is the POV of these boots. Definitely a good look. Love the toe, love the color, and love the grain. These kangaroo boots were another lucky find for me. Like I said, I got these for $25. And when I started searching around about this boot online to find information about it, I also found it at Circle B Western Wear, where I did the video about the Jay Chisholm's once. <laughs> but they also have this boot in gray as well in varying sizes between 8.5D and 10.5D. So you'll have to call them or visit their website to see if they have your size and they're selling it for $200 or around that area. And for an all kangaroo boot, that's the foot and the shaft, that is as special as this and made in the USA, $200 for this boot is incredible. If you are any of those sizes, you might wanna scoop this boot up from Circle B Western Wear. Links in the phone number is in the description. Tell them I sent you. Final thoughts about the kangaroo. It is an awesome leather. I really like this boot a lot and it is so beautiful. I did not think kangaroo came with this grain which is what threw me off to begin with. But now that I know it's kangaroo, it makes so much more sense because it is a thinner leather, but super strong at the same time. Let me know what you think of the Nakona kangaroo boots down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to keep a lookout on some of these deal sites. You can find awesome, slightly used boots, just like these Nakona kangaroo boots, if you put in the time to search. So good luck out there. Have a great one. Peace, everybody. Thanks for watching. I have a hard time believing it too. Those old Nakonas were all kangaroo. Yeah. Gotta love the feel and the style. It's only matched by a few. Yeah. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. And I'll see you next time.